Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to preserve your iOS 5.0.1 untethered jailbreak just in case if you upgrade you decide you want to downgrade back to iOS 5.0.1. So while you're on your computer, you're going to need um, a few things. You're going to need red snow and tiny umbrella and iOS 5.0.1. You can get the ISP to IPSW straight from Felix Burns. The website's in the description below. And once you open up Tiny Umbrella, you can go over to the Advanced tab and the Save SHSH directory. Make sure it is set to your desktop. And once that's done, make sure the same um, buttons are checked that mine are checked. So save all available SHSH, overwrite, and when connecting a device. None of the other ones should be checked. And then you, once, you, once you do that, you can go back, um, General tab, and you can click on the iPod Touch or whatever device you may have and you're going to want to click save SHSH and we'll save it right to your desktop and you're going to have two up here you're going to have a 5.0.1 and a 5.1 B1 if you only have one then you should be okay but I have two I do, I'm not sure why but we're going to want to be using the 5.0.1 um, SH blob so once you do that you can actually go back and go into red snow and you're going to open up Red Snow and go into the Extras tab and click SHSH Blobs. And down at the bottom, click Stitch. You're going to want to select the IPSW you downloaded from either Felix Burns or whatever source you downloaded it from. And here I go. I'm going to select that. And I'm going to select my blobs I just saved to my desktop. And remember, it's the 5.0.1, not the 5.1B1. So we can go ahead and click Open. And it will stitch the blobs together. It'll stitch it right to the IPSW. You're going to be able to actually use this to restore via iTunes if you ever need to. This process may take around five minutes. It shouldn't take any longer. Um, you'll get to some parts that get stuck on for around ten minutes, and your virus protection may tell you a certain program is using a lot of, yeah, like here, high memory uses by Red Snow. should take a max of around five minutes like I said I'm using an iPod touch you can do this on the iPod touch 4 gen third gen um, iPhone iPhone 4 3GS and basically any device running iOS 5.0.1 that is untethered you might be wondering like why should I do this well one good reason is because if you decide to upgrade and you accidentally upgrade or it was an accident or anything and you can't and you like the untethered jailbreak maybe 5.1 doesn't have an untethered jailbreak you're going to be able to restore using this IPSW straight to iTunes and as you see it um, is successfully done and mine saved into my document directory but you're going to want to put this somewhere that is safe, somewhere you know where it is. And for me, I like keeping it on my desktop. It's I, I really don't delete anything off my desktop, so I just keep it on there. So here's my downloads folder. I'm going to extend that open here. And I can go down, and I'm going to find it here. Here it is. It should be... Um, iPhone or whatever device you have 5.0.9 actually it would be this one iPhone 2 um, comma 1 5.0.1 and it will say restore at the end so I'm going to drag that to my desktop and here it is I'm going to keep it there for safekeeping and that is all you do. If you're a Windows user, then stick around because you may be experiencing some, pro experiencing some problems here. And I'll have to go over that with you. So if you are one of the Windows users experiencing problems, what you're going to do is go into your computer. And this is basically for Windows 7 users. I'm, it might work with Windows XP, I'm not sure. And then you're going to go into your hard drive, C drive most of the time, and go into program files x86. And then once you're in there, you're going to find the common files folder. And go down, or 
actually it's right here it'll say Apple and click on Apple application support and then in there copy everything that's in there by dragging this down and going ahead and clicking copy and once you do that you can go back and you're gonna go to your users file mine is Ryan and once you're in there you're going to find here it is app data and then you'll see roaming and then you're gonna look for red snow and here's red snow and you're gonna right click and paste everything in here I, I pasted it earlier so I'm not gonna repaste it and you'll see it all in there and that is all you do and for everyone else thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video remember to subscribe like and comment for more